guys, welcome back to Gamer Nation this week on Smosh Games, where we are talking about a, a topic that everyone has an opinion on. It's our favorite game genres. Mm. And welcoming back Jess V, because you Hi. guys love her, wanted her back. We brought her back. Good time. Thank Round you. Of applause. Thank you, guys. Oh. Just for Jess V. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Yeah. For being yeah. here. Yeah. Thanks for breaking up no, the sausage fest. Yeah. Yeah. I don't appreciate it. Do no many problem. Do so <laughs> dance floor. But, uh, <laughs> so game genres, it, it's something uh, everyone has their personal favorite. Everyone has their uh, little niche that they're good with. Uh, mm -hmm. How about you guys? Like, what is your game genre of choice? I think people people know mine, uh, so I'll, I'll just start it off. You got, uh, I refuse to call them MOBAs. They're MOBAs. No, they're not. They're called... It's been deemed MOBA. They're action RTS, ARTS games. So you got Dota, League of Legends, a bunch of people are coming out with new ones. There's that uh, Guardians of Middle Earth game that came out. Mm -hmm. Which you, uh, um, you did a review for last week. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it was okay. Uh, so, <laughs> so, but generally I love those games. I don't know what it is about the format, but but I feel like they are some of the games that sort of test your skill versus another player the most in the truest fashion. Because they sort of take out a lot of the luck involved. I think, if I can jump in, one of the reasons Sohinki likes them is because a lot of times they are deeper games yeah. than just your average first person shooter. There's a lot to know and learn. Yeah. And if you don't know everyone's abilities and like, what the runes do and everything and the best way to control the map, then you're gonna get left in the cold and a lot of times they're the games with the steeper learning curve. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's fair to say. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jesse? What's, uh, like, you've been around gaming for yeah. years and yeah. years. Yeah, oh my god, you so. sound so old right now. <laughs> years and years. You've been Back around gaming since before yeah. gaming existed. But that's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that old on the ball with a string. Just right. score. I've been, been around since yep. Pong with someone yeah. holding a paddle on one I side know. of the Just I know. me's favorite genre is the wheel. She was the wheel, that that's right. And that's <laughs> <laughs> Thank that's you, Josh. Good. You're welcome, I'm Thank sorry. That's all for you, Josh, for that. No, 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 no. Um, I would have to say, I would, I would really have to say that I feel like I don't have a favorite genre only because a good game is a good game. Mm. Like, I've played so many it's amazing first-person yeah, shooters. Cool. Hey, come on now. <laughs> what? Okay. I'll gravitate towards action, action adventure. Okay. Okay. I like just going in and you know slicing things up, killing things. Um, There's something gratifying about that. Yes. Yes, there really is. Uh, like open world type games. Like or like God of War, or, or yeah. you know okay. Prince of Persia, Dark Siders. If she has a weapon can... and can kill bitches, yes. she's happy. Yes. Or evading, and then just like building up a skill tree and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's what I generally like. Uh, I can say the genre I hate the most is sports games. Okay. Yes. And I think uh, we were talking about this earlier, like I'm Madden. In agreement. I'm sorry. I just I hate sports. I hate sports. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't is do. Is it you hate sports or you hate sports games or just as a whole? If people are competing, you just not no. Because I love competing. I love watching you know people compete yeah, in Street Fighter is fun or you know in things real like life. that. Playing right. digital sports, it's like, why not I a get fan. some I gotta say, yeah, I, fan. Play I, football. I, yeah. I agree with you definitely on the Madden front. I don't like Madden at all, but I think the FIFA games are great, mm -hmm. and I think that the NHL games are pretty good. So, there's just, two sports I can't games. Do the only sports I mean, game I want to play is Mutant League Football. Yeah, that's, that's it. good. <laughs> End of list. Oh, uh, there's this great game that you would actually love. It was, I think it was for the PlayStation mm -hmm. 1 called Dead Ball Zone. And it was like sort of this handball game, you throw the ball back and forth. But you had the option throughout the course of the game, you could use it, I think, three different times. You could either shoot someone, use a chainsaw on them, or like <laughs> explode oh, them with a bat. I would play that. I would play that. I would, that. Game. I would yeah, absolutely play game, that. Technically, no, dead that's, ball zone. Okay. No, like, I'm talking like sports in real life, yeah. like yeah. FIFA or like MLB. Yeah. I think or, when it comes to like sports games, like that is literally the nichiest of niche gamers. Mm -hmm. It's like. Some people will just have an Xbox just for a sports game. Right. They want they to do. play the Madden games. The, a lot I, feel of crazy. Like I feel like it's guys that didn't make that college team. Like, <laughs> at least I can win. <laughs> at least I can it's beat also, someone online who's probably hardcore, 12. Hardcore sports fans are the quickest to call other people that play other games nerds. They spend 90% of their life playing Madden. It's always <laughs> hilarious. In a fantasy football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, moving forward, Laser Corn, what kind of, uh, what's your genre of choice? I like RTS. Uh, RTS used to be uh, all before ARTS and all your, yeah, yeah, your yeah. new stuff. Uh, I kept it old school with the RTS games, the so Warcraft 2, uh, games like that. I liked uh, Shogun. Uh, stuff like that. Did you Starcraft. Command and Conquer. I didn't really get into Command and Conquer. Red Alert was great. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Civilization was good. And uh, an amazing soundtrack. Age of Empires, yeah. which Anthony loves. Yes, Age one of, of Anthony's too. favorite games. Yeah. 
Uh, but lately, I've been, I like uh, more and more, I like stealth games. I don't know why, but it's just yeah, something about sneaking just up the way on you people. kill people. You yeah, you feel good about it. You feel like a badass. Yeah, just killing people who aren't aware of it. <laughs> something about it. I, I don't know if that's a bad Laser thing. corn just likes yeah. the, the moment of yeah. surprise when they yeah. realize that their life is over right before them. But really, I've been enjoying like any type of stealth game, like Dishonored, where it's like supernatural and you could teleport up behind people and kill people before they know you're in the same room. I'm so room. bad at stealth. Yeah. I get caught every. <laughs> Yeah, time. like screw every this. Every time, <laughs> I get caught every time, so I, I, I get bored very guns? fast yeah. because because I, like, I, I die. I like Hitman, where you're in disguise <laughs> and doing that type of stealth, and then I also liked like the the last Ghost Recon, where you had uh, you were like literally hiding in the bushes, and you would send up like a little drone and like mark people, and oh, then wow. like like mm -hmm. trigger all your your squad mates to take them out. There's something about taking out people <laughs> I don't see it coming. There's cool. Lately, uh, like it. There's a cool stealth element to Far Cry as well. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten into that game yeah. yet, but yeah. If You'd like stealth, that, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Just stealth yeah. games lately have been my thing. Now, I know that you mentioned RTS, and when we first met, you were actually huge in StarCraft yeah. also, right? Yeah, I've kind of gotten away from that uh, a little bit. Uh, were you in the Diamond League? I was, I was in, I was a Diamond League. This I was before the Masters. I made, I made Diamond League at your house once, I think. Yeah, you we did. Were just playing. <laughs> wait, wait, was that like a weird innuendo or something? No! <laughs> <laughs> I made Diamond League yeah. your, your uh, house last week. I was week. playing placement now, matches. We used to do nights where we would trade off playing Dota and StarCraft because yeah. we were trying to teach each other the games. Yeah. Yeah. That's really That's cool, though. I feel, yeah. like, I feel like people who play RTS have to have like almost like a higher form of intelligence because it's so, so strategic. Hard. They are more difficult, they're I, very I, strategic. I just, I just banshee rush everyone. I, <laughs> but you have to like no build, you have yeah. to build like your yeah. entire world basically and, yeah. and then have, like, attack someone else's that builds. I can't focus on builds. too many things. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah thank you, <laughs> thank you. I can't take a compliment. It's, it's, I think it actually okay. shows a lot about you guys as, as gamers because you're more like the action um, RTS where you have like one character, you, you just pay attention to I can one focus area. on one thing really well. So when I play RTS games, I'm really good at the micro in terms of like controlling units during a fight but I always forget about my base. I can't focus mm -hmm. on like so many things at once. It takes a lot of patience yeah. too. Yeah. Like, my goodness, really I can't, I it. can't. I'm very impatient. I'm a Taurus. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, speaking of like RTS games and strategy games, that's actually my genre of choice is like, I love anything with a good strategy. So I'm, I'm definitely drawn to like role playing games. I love a good story, something I can put like hours into, but also like the strategy is what really kind of gets me. Like I love chess. I grew up playing a lot of chess. So like when Final Fantasy Tactics came out, mm. I spent so much time oh, on wow. tactics. I yeah. was the guy that actually had clout on my tactics game. Um, <laughs> now, I haven't played, like, you keep mentioning Dota 2. I really want to start playing Dota 2. We I just feel like it's going to take too much time. <laughs> but, like, I've never played an RTS, I'll, but I'll I love you strategy pro. games. Yeah. I'll make you pro. Um, yeah. But yeah, anything, any game where I can, like, if I'm going to put $60 on a game, I want something that's going to take me, like, 50 hours I can put into this game, not just like, oh, Eight hours, I'm done with the story mode. I guess I'll play some multiplayer for the next three months, I guess, to really get my worth out of the game. Yeah, well, luckily, Dota's free to play. Dota is free to play. play. <laughs> uh, if, if you guys want to see it, I'll, I'll have Soinky teach me Dota. And it'll, it'll probably be a very angry video with him doing a lot of yelling. Maybe we'll do that for like a bonus video yeah, or something. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm almost immediately regretting that one. Uh, but if you guys want to see it, we'll, we'll do it. But um, yes, I love anything with strategy. Like the game that I spend the most time on actually is Magic the Gathering, like the Planeswalkers 2013. Nice. That's a video game. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a video it's game. It's a isn't it? Because, yeah. like, it's a card game that they added some graphics that they turned, to. That they turned into it, it, it. I play it on my Xbox like or yeah. video. My genre, my genre is battle chess. I play actually, a lot my of favorite, Actually, my favorite genre is actually poker. I really yeah. love yeah. poker games. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like I'll, I'll actually like before going to sleep, I'll get like two rounds in, and then like it's it's easy. There's no real long investment. That's to do why it in one sitting. likes it. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh. your mom. Oh, oh, oh that's so obvious. It was hanging right Ouch. out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right, Lazy Corn. We, we've heard from all of our. Slap it, show. No. <laughs> uh, so that's all of our opinions. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we should probably go to Ian and Anthony via the Smosh Bots. Thank goodness they shut up. All right, so favorite genres, let's hear it. Well, I have, I think I have two. So uh, one is uh, RPGs. I love me some good old role-playing action. I really- That sounded really wrong. <laughs> we already covered it, but I prefer, I was really into the older RPGs. You're into the newer stuff. Yeah, the newer stuff, the better stuff. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, big fan of RPGs. Also a fan of racing games, which we can't, we can't really show much on Smosh games because it's just kind of boring. Racing games. But 
truck racing games. No, it's got. Unless they're kart racers with fun items oh, yeah, that's, and stuff. That's good too, but like, you know, Forza and the new Forza Horizon actually kicks ass. I am just love it. I am so not into racing games. Uh, realistic racing games just suck balls. The uh, arcadey stuff and stuff with items and stuff that's actually fun is good, but just yeah. not into boring ass racing games. Well, what Forza, Forza Horizon, what they did was they took the stuff that was kind of like realistic driving, which is like the physics and stuff, but then like collision and all that stuff, they kept it arcadey. Mm -hmm. So like when you messed up, you weren't like, I gotta do it all over again. True. I just wasted 30 minutes of my life of trying to race. Like, uh, you know, actually, a game that I did have fun with that was kind of more realistic than like Mario Kart was Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. That game. The original, the original one. It, it, it was an awesome run away from the cops. They put spikes in the road and yeah. Yeah, you got you got a point. Played, some racing. Game. I think we played Hot Pursuit. Too. Yeah, I don't remember. It, it was right. one of those Hot yeah. Pursuits. It was. It was awesome. It was hot. My favorite genre is platformers, and not just side-scrolling ones, but like the 3D ones, Super Mario 64, Galaxy 1 and 2. Uh, I don't know, just something about the gameplay. I don't need a deep story. Uh, you know, RPGs are better with the story, but I don't need a deep story. I just want fun, challenging gameplay that keeps me coming back. I have to have a reason to fight for my life, so I need a story. Uh, the princess needs saving. <laughs> No, it, it's just, I I just love the platformers. I especially love when there's like levels where I'm always like, oh, I wonder what level's next. Just one more level, one more challenge. I am obsessed with platformers. The first step is admitting you have a problem. I have a problem. I'm obsessed with platformers. Ah! I need help. Help me, doctor. Help me. Back to you guys. Well, there's the Smosh Guys for you. Platformers. You know what? What uh, is one of my favorite platformers that came out uh, relatively recently is uh, Super Meat Boy. That was last year, I believe. Mm. And I, the art of the platformer is is sort of something that, that people have lost. I feel, but Super Meat Boy is really that a platformer or is that a puzzle game? It's a platformer for sure. Platforming it's all about puzzle. Okay. Yeah. There's it's not a whole puzzle. lot of. It's very clear what you have to do. You just can't do it no matter how many times you try. Essentially, <laughs> <laughs> what that game is. Well, uh, you know what else we forgot to mention? It's sort of my secondary favorite genre is FPS yeah, games. Yeah, no one talks about FPS games. Yeah, I think it's because there's so many of them out there that like everyone can find the FPS they right. enjoy. Mm -hmm. So, because yeah. uh, ah. there's so many variations. You have the war games, there. which a lot of people are getting tired of, but then you have games like The Darkness, which is also yeah. first-person shooter. See, that's I, great. Cool it's a great title. Stuff. I might be a little unique on this one, where I, I don't know if I necessarily see FPS as its own genre, almost as a oh, tool mechanic. It's, no, it's a, it's a genre. It's a genre, first-person shooter. They just, they make an FPS for everything. So everyone can find an FPS they love. And there's so, uh, that's making it more of a... If you really wanted to get into, like, you get the melee that's stuff That's a first-person slasher. Well, like, you also have the archers. Shooter. Yeah. The archers. <laughs> well, guys, those are our opinions, but now it's really time to get to you guys and what you guys think. You know, get a chance to kind of communicate with us on what you think of the topic. Obviously, this time being your favorite genres. Let's take a look at... Uh, Ernie26 says... So we were just talking about this. Platformers. Yes. They're easy to pick up and play and... Easy for and any game designer can make a decent title that's fun to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are very a simple, simple game mechanic that anyone can just pick up and learn. You know, it was also and they, great was Rayman Origins. That was another good one that came out recently. Yeah. Mm. Plus the just the evolution of the the platformer, obviously going back from like Mario Brothers right. to God of War or yeah. Donnie's Inferno being they are technically platformers. Yeah, there's games. a lot of games that have platforming elements to them as well mm. that come out. Mm -hmm. so you, like Limbo. Yeah, so Limbo like, won many awards for being oh, a fantastic yeah. title and it happened to be a platformer. So yeah, Ernie yeah. ma makes a good point here where he says like any developer can make uh, a good platformer because it's I don't so know accessible. If I agree with that. I'm sure there are some developers out there who have tried and failed to make a good platformer. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Zynga tried to make a platformer. Yeah, you really uh, like Zynga. 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 Bring it back up. Bring it back. They're like, uh, yeah, we're just going to make farms, I guess. Yeah. And uh, this person woke up just to send us a tweet uh, at Smosh or Snorlax. See what I did there about waking up? She knew oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. My favorite genre is RPGs because you can spend hours playing them and constantly leveling up. I don't like playing short games. Uh, which was kind of the point that I made, so I agree with you, Snorlax, uh, 100% on that one. But I think it's it's just buying games is such an investment. You need something that you can put a lot of time into. There are, right. there are games that are like great for rentals. Like The Darkness 2 was one of my favorite games of this year, and I would never recommend that anyone yeah. really 
take the sixty dollars, or I mean, it's probably less now, but to buy it when it came out, it's, it's a rental because right. the game only lasts six hours. That being said, those six hours are going to be like some of the most enjoyable six hours of gaming yeah. of the year. So Portal far. wasn't a long game, but it was an amazing, amazing game and an yeah. amazing experience, and it shouldn't have been any longer. It was exactly the length it needs to be. Mm -hmm. So and it came out. That's, all, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so while I agree that having a game that you can put a lot of hours into is good, it's not necessarily like a deal breaker for me if a game is short. There's, mm -hmm. I mean, you pay the same price for movies, and some of them are three hours, and no. some of them are uh, an hour point. and a half. You know, this might awful. actually be a great topic yeah. for a future Gamer Nation. Short games versus long games. Or it's what you do with your time with the game. <laughs> Who knows? Guys, but that's from all of us here. You're trying to say that it's not the length of the game, it's how they use the time. <laughs> I was trying yes. not to be as obvious with that. I know, joke. I agree. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Do you, do you me. agree with that, Jesse? I do, yes. All right, it's right. all true. It's, it's very true. What, it's, we all say it. It's yeah. very true. <laughs> Guys, that's Gamer Nation. Thanks so much for joining us. Don't Please throw your card. I'm going to throw my card this no. time because we love you. I'll see you next time. You really suck it's at throwing. It's so lame. If you're going to throw it, I'm going to throw the card. I got to get better, so I got to keep throwing it.